those that he has called. Father, we thank you for Shiloh 2018. We have gathered in your presence to hear your voice. Speak to us one more time, Jehovah. Speak to us in the language that we shall understand. Everybody stretch your hands to the altar as we pray a prayer of agreement. Heavenly Father, we are gathered in your presence to hear your voice. As I bring your word tonight, let me speak of your counsel. Let your word come forth with power. Let your word come forth with clarity. Let your people be blessed. Let your people be empowered. Let your word in my mouth be fire. Anybody under the sound of my voice that is believing you for a word through this message speak to that person anybody under the sound of my voice believing God for an open door believing God for breakthrough believing God for healing Father give it to them in the name of Jesus the word says the word is like a hammer the word is like a fire the word is like a sword the word is like a weapon use your word tonight to crush every force of darkness in Jesus name pigia yesu makofi shangwe na vigele Genesis chapter 12 read for us verse 1 to verse 3 Mwanzo 12 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza mpaka ule wa tatu Bwana akamwambia Abraham Toka wewe katika nchi yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako uende mpaka nchi nitakayokuonyesha nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa ba, kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki na kulikuza jina lako nawe na uwe baraka nami na nitawabariki wa kubarikio naye akulanie nitamlani na katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia watabarikiwa Third John chapter 1 and verse 2 it says beloved i pray inasema wapenzi ninawaombea nina, nina that you would prosper kwamba in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers lift your hand above your head somebody say Lord speak to me lift your hands hallelujah Ambia Bwana sema nami. Bwana sema nami. Sema nami. Sema nami. Baba ninene kupitia mtumishi wako. Baba sema nami kupitia mtumishi wako. Lift up your hands. Ragadosh kama gadeiska. Inua mikono yako. Lizo magadosh kama gadeiska. Rihande bazoya. I pray for you tonight. Nakuombea jioni ya leo. As your hands are lifted. Kama mikono yako 
May your life receive a divine lifting. As your hands are lifted. May your finances receive a divine lifting. I pray that every bondage of debt will be broken. Every spirit of poverty. Somebody speak in the Holy Ghost. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Everybody shout Amen. In this few minutes, I want to look at the Abrahamic blessing. But even before I get to that stage, I cannot talk about prosperity without talking about our father of faith, Abraham. When you go to Genesis chapter 12, God speaks to Abraham. And by this time, Abraham is 75 years old. You know, before I even go further, I began to wonder God would call Abraham at the age of 75. When I look into this auditorium, most of us are 75 years and below. And surely, if God could call Abraham at 75, I want you to know it's not too late for your life. It's not too late for your life. I believe by this time, people had already written Abraham off. People had already put a full stop in his life. But I want to thank God where people put a full stop. That is where God begins a new sentence. I have come to discover God does not call the qualified. He qualifies the call. God does not call the equipped. But he equips those that he has called. God does not call the prepared. He prepares those that he has called. Watch this now. God comes to Abraham. He says, Abraham, get out of your country. Get out of your family. Get out of your father's house. To a land that I will show you. I began to wonder why did God require Abraham to get out of his country, to get out of his family, to get out of his father's house before he gave him the list of promises. And I realize it is because new success cannot be built on old foundation. That is why when God wants to do a new thing in your life, he always shifts you in the realm of the spirit. Watch this now. Seven things that God spoke to Abraham. And we are the descendants of Abraham. We are the seeds of Abraham. So the promises and the blessings of Abraham are ours. Number one. God says to Abraham I will make you a great nation By this time Abraham has not received the son of the promise And this one helped me to discover 
When God looks at you, He does not address you according to your past. He talks to you according to your future. Our God is not the great I was. He is the great I am. So when He looks at you, He addresses you according to your destiny. And I have good news for Shiloh 2018. You are more than you look. Salamia jirani yako mwambie mimi ni zaidi ya vile unavyoniona. Mimi ni zaidi ya vile unavyoniona. I want you to know you are more than you look. Nataka ujue kwamba wewe ni zaidi ya vile unavyoonekana. And your destiny is greater than your history. Na hatima yako ni kubwa kuliko historia yako. Where you are going? Unakokwenda is better than where you are coming from. Bora kuliko kule unakotoka. So don't be discouraged. By what you are going through. Number two. Chapiri. God said to Abraham. 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 I will bless you. The word blessing. Neno comes from the Hebrew word. Barak. Barak. Which means. Empowered to succeed. That is why Deuteronomy 8.18 says. You shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he. That gives you the power to prosper. When God says you are blessed. In other words he is saying. You are empowered to succeed. I declare to Shiloh. Receive an empowerment to succeed. I declare you are blessed. You are blessed going in. You are blessed going out. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. And I love the blessing of God. Because Proverbs 10:21 says. Ah, um, Proverbs 10:21. The blessing of God maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. When you look at our father Abraham, because of the blessing of God, he was rich according to Genesis 13:2. The Bible says he was rich in gold, silver and livestock. I want to declare to somebody the blessing of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Receive in the name of Jesus. I want you to know you are not born again to suffer again. Number two. God said to Abraham. I will bless you. And I've told you the word blessing. Comes from the Hebrew word Barak. Which means empowered to succeed. I am praying for every man and woman under the sound of my voice. That before this year is over May God bless you Until the devil can testify You are blessed In the name of Jesus May God bless you Until the devil can testify You are blessed In the name of Jesus I declare you are blessed Your family is blessed Your businesses are blessed Your career is blessed Your finances are blessed Your investments are blessed 
Your ideas are blessed. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. Number three. God said to Abraham I will make your name great I will make your name great I pray for every man and woman under the sound of my voice receive the blessing of a great name may your name be mentioned among the great in the name of Jesus may your name after Shiloh let your name be mentioned positively before the right people I stand as God's oracle on the altar of mountain of fire to decree and to declare any evil altar that calls your name I declare fire will answer in the name of Jesus any witch doctor that calls your name or that calls your name I declare fire will answer fire will answer I stand on this altar under the anointing of Bishop Gertrude Rwakatare I anoint your name with favor I anoint your name with favor any negative attachment on your name I'll rub it with the oil of favor in the name of Jesus Tabiria watu watatu wambie pokea baraka ya jina ku Tabiria watu watatu wambie pokea baraka ya jina ku Pokea baraka ya jina ku Salamia watu watatu Salamia watu watatu Wambie pokea baraka ya jina ku Wambie pokea baraka ya jina ku Tabiria watu watatu wambie jina ku Jina lako Itatajwa katikati ya waku Itatajwa katikati ya waku Jina lako Jina lako Itatajwa katikati ya wakubwa Pokea baraka ya jina kubwa 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 Katika jina la yesu Ino wa mkono wako jitabiria Sema ninatangaza Ninatangaza Jina langu Itatajwa katikati ya waku Itataja katikati ya waku Sema napokea Napokea Ino mikono yako ju Sema napokea Napokea Baraka ya jina ku Baraka ya jina ku Jina langu Lucy Natasha Jina langu Frankie Litatajwa katikati ya waku Litatajwa katikati ya waku Katika jina la yesu Katika jina la yesu Sema napokea 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 Sema faya Faya Muliza jirani yako jina lake Mutabiria kwa jina lake Muliza jina lake Muliza jina lake alafu toe Tabiria Tabiria na kutabiria Jina lako Jina lako Litatajwa katikati ya waku Litatajwa katikati ya waku Katika jina la yesu Katika jina la yesu I prophesy from tonight Na kutabiria kwa nziga usikuwa leo Your name will be mentioned with wealth Jina lako litatajwa kwa mema Your name will be mentioned and associated with success Jina lako litatajwa likiusishwa na mafanikio Your name will be associated with integrity Jina lako litausishwa na yeshima With prosperity Na mafanikio Receive Pokea katika jina la yesu Shout fire Fire Sit down for one minute Kaeni kwa dakika moja Number three Jambo la tatu God said to Abraham Mungu ni muambia Abraham I will make your name great Nitalifanya jina lako kuwa kubwa Number four Jambo la nne I will bless you 
bless them that bless you. Nitawabariki wa kubarikiyo. Wait, that is number six. Number four is I will make you a blessing. Hiyo ni sita. Lakini la nne inasema nitakufanya uwe baraka. I will make you a blessing. Nitakufanya uwe baraka. In other words, kwa maneno mengine, you are blessed to be a blessing. Umebarikiwa ili uwe baraka. Salamia jirani yako mwambie umebarikiwa ili uwe baraka. Umebarikiwa ili uwe baraka. And I prophesy to somebody. Na namtabiria mtu mmoja. God will make you a channel of blessing. Mungu atakumfanya uwe mfereji wa baraka. God will make you a distribution center. Mungu atakufanya wewe ndio kituo cha kugawa baraka. Salamia jirani yako mwambie wewe utakuwa kituo cha kugawa baraka. Wewe utakuwa kituo cha kugawa baraka. Salamia watu wawili waambie utakuwa kituo cha kugawa baraka. Utakuwa kituo cha kugawa baraka. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. You will be a distribution center. Utakuwa kituo cha kugawa baraka. You will be a channel of blessing. Utakuwa mfereji wa baraka. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. God says I will make you a blessing. Mungu anasema nitakufanya uwe baraka. One of the greatest secrets I learned from the life of Abraham. Moja ya siri kubwa niliyojifunza kutoka kwenye maisha ya Abraham. Abraham was a giver. Abraham alikuwa mtoaji. When you look at uh, when you look at Genesis 22 Unapoangalia mwanzo 22 mstari wa pili Even when God asked him for Isaac Hata wakati Mungu alipomuomba amtoe Isaka And he said take now your son Akamwambia sasa mchukue mwanao You are only son Isaac whom you love Mwanao pekee umpendaye And go and sacrifice him in the mountain of Moriah Na uende umtoe dhabihu katika mlima wa Moria He did not argue with God Hakubishana na Mungu He obeyed God Alimtii Mungu When you look at Genesis 14 Unapoangalia mwanzo 14 mstari wa 20 When he met with Melchizedek Alipokutana na Melchizedek He gave a tithe of all Alitoa fungu la kumi ya vyote Abraham was a tither Abraham alikuwa mtoazaka Abraham was a giver Abraham alikuwa mtoaji If you want to walk in the Abrahamic blessing Ukitaka kutembea katika baraka za Abraham Follow the principles of Abraham Fuata kanuni za Abraham Become a faithful tither uwe mwaminifu katika kutoa zaka because if you don't tithe your things will be tight kwa sababu kama hautoi zaka vitu vyako vitaharibiwa because the devourer kwa sababu yule alaye who and devourer is simply the eaters of finances alaye manake ni yule anayekula fedha they will destroy the fruit of your labor wataharibu tunda la kazi yako Abraham was a giver. Abraham alikuwa mtoaji. I pray for you. Na kuombea na wewe. Shala baraka May God make you a blessing. Mungu akufanye baraka. To the body of Christ. Kwenye mwili wa Kristo. To your family. Kwenye familia yako. Your brothers and sisters will be educated because of you. Dada zako na wadogo zako watapata elimu kwa sababu yako wewe. Your parents will live a good life because of you. Wazazi wako wataishi maisha mazuri kwa sababu yako wewe. Receive in the name of Jesus. Pokea katika jina la Yesu. God will make you a blessing. Mungu atakufanya uwe baraka. And number five, God say to Abraham. Jambo la tano Mungu akamwambia Abraham. I will bless them that bless you. Nitawabariki wa kubarikiwa. I pray for this blessing over your life. Na bombea baraka hii ije jume ya maisha yako. I began to wonder. Nikaanza kushangaa God is saying to Abraham Mungu anamwambia Abraham I will bless them that bless you Nitawabariki wa kubarikiwa Yet Abraham is already blessed Ingawa tayari Abraham amebarikiwa What is the meaning of this Ina maana gani maneno haya And I began to understand Nikaanza kuelewa That it is God that blesses Kwamba ni Mungu ndiye anayebariki But God blesses people through people lakini Mungu ubariki watu kupitia watu. And that is why God said to Abraham. Ndio maana Mungu akamwambia Abraham. I will bless them that bless you. Nitawabariki wanaokubariki. That means there are people that God has ordained. Ina maana kuna watu ambao Mungu amewaweka tayari. There are people that God has assigned to become a blessing to your life. Kuna watu ambao Mungu alishawapangilia wafanyike baraka kwenye maisha yako. There are yako. people that God has assigned kuna watu ambao Mungu amewapa kazi hiyo. Wakupeleke wewe kwenye kiwango kingine. Ninakuombea wewe baada ya Shilo. Mwanamke yoyote na mwanaume aliyekusudia akubariki maisha yako. I pray they will manifest in the name of Jesus. Ninaomba watajidhihirisha katika jina la Yesu. Anyone that God has assigned to give you capital 
yoyote ambaye Mungu amemwandaa akupe mtaji to give you a job akupe kazi to promote you kukupandisha cheo let them manifest in the name of Jesus wadhirishwe katika jina la Yesu may God connect you to your helpers Mungu akukutanishe na wasaidizi wako nasema Mungu akukutanishe na wasaidizi wako haleluya yeyote aliyebeba baraka yako haleluya yeyote aliyebeba mtaji wako wa biashara ndio yeyote aliyebeba contract ama tender yako amen ninamnyima amani na pumziko katika jina la Yesu amen baada ya shilo haleluya atakutafuta akubariki katika jina la Yesu amen sema fire moto hey hey As the king in Esther chapter 6 could not sleep. Kama yule mfalme katika Esther sura ya sita hakulala. Until Mordecai was honored. Mpaka Mordecai alipopewa heshima yake. I deny your help us peace. Ninawakatalia wasaidizi wako amani. Yaani wasaidizi wako ninawakatalia amani kama nabii katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Ninasema wasipate amani mpaka wakutafute. Amen. Wawe wako ndani ya Tanzania au nje ya Tanzania. Amen. Yeyote ambaye Mungu amekusudia akusaidie. Hallelujah. Yeyote Mungu amekusudia akuwe msaidizi wako. Yes. Namwachilia katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. You will not miss your helpers. Utawakosa wasaidizi wako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. And number six, God said to Abraham. Na jambo la sita Mungu akasema na Abraham. God said to him. Mungu akasema naye. I will cast them that curse you. Nitawalani wanaokulani. I declare on the altar of mountain on of, of fire. Natangaza kwenye madhabahu ya mlima wa moto. You cannot be cast. Wewe hutalaniwa. No weapon. Hakuna silaha. There is fashion that against you. Itakayofanyika kinyume nawe. That shall be able to prosper. Itakayoweza kufanikiwa. I declare. Natangaza. As the devil comes in like a flood. Kama adui anavyokuja kama mafuriko. The Lord. Bwana. We lift up a standard. Atainua kiwango. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. You cannot be cast. Hutalaniwa. Kusa jirani yako mwambie hautalaniwa. Hautalaniwa. Any curse against you we send it back to the sender. Kila lana inayokuja kwako tunairudisha kwa mtumaji. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Your children cannot be cursed. Watoto wako hawawezi kulaniwa. Your family cannot be cursed. Familia yako haiwezi kulaniwa. Your destiny cannot be cursed. Hatima yako haiwezi kulaniwa. The Lord says I will curse them that curse you. Bwana asema nitawalani wanaokulani. Na jambo la saba. Through you. Kupitia wewe. All the nations of the earth will be blessed. Mataifa yote ya duniani yatabarikiwa. I declare through you. Natangaza kupitia wewe. The altars of poverty in your family will be broken. Madhabahu za umasikini kwenye familia zako zitavunjika. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. The Bible says beloved I pray. Biblia inasema wapenzi na waombea. That you would prosper. Kwamba mfanikiwe. Be in hell. Katika afya njema. Even as your soul prospers. Hata roho zenu zifanikiwe wavyo. When I look at this scripture kana pa uangalia huu mstari there are three dimensions of prosperity kuna viwango vitatu vya mafanikio prosperity is not just money of mafanikio sio tu kuwa na hela there are three dimensions of prosperity kuna maeneo matatu ya mafanikio number one. cha kwanza beloved i pray that you would prosper wapenzi na waombea mfanikiwe financial prosperity mafanikio ya kifedha number two. Jambo la pili. Beloved I pray. Wapenzi na waombea. That you would prosper. Kwamba mfanikiwe. And be in hell. Na muwe na afya njema. Number two, health prosperity. Mfanikio la pili ni afya njema, mafanikio ya kiafya. Number three. Jambo la tatu. I pray that you would be in hell. Naomba kwamba muwe na afya njema. Even as you are soul prosperous. Kama roho zenu zifanikiwavyo. These three dimensions of prosperity. Maeneo matatu haya ya mafanikio. Financial prosperity. Mafanikio ya kifedha. Health prosperity. Mafanikio ya kiafya. Soul prosperity. Mafanikio ya kiroho. I declare in Shilo. Natangaza katika Shilo. You are receiving the three dimensions of prosperity. Unapokea mafanikio katika maeneo yote matatu. Receive 
financial prosperity. Pokea mafanikio ya kifedha. Receive financial prosperity. Pokea mafanikio ya kifedha. Money will know your name and address. Nje fedha zitajua jina lako na anwani yako. I see you losing the address of poverty. Naona unapoteza anwani ya umasikini. Salamia jirani yako mwambie napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Leo kuanzia shilo hii. Kuanzia leo. Napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Watano waambie napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Napoteza anwani ya umasikini. Hapa shilo 2018 mlima wa moto. Tunapoteza anwani ya umasikini. Hallelujah. Tunapoteza anwani ya umasikini. Yes. Tunapoteza anwani ya umasikini. Yes. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tunapoteza anwani ya umasikini. Maro yote ya kongangana. Yes. Maro yote ya kuhangaika. Yes. Maro yote ya kukwama. Yes. Maro yote ya madeni. Yes. Tunaisambara katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Natangaza pokea nguvu za kufanikiwa. Amen. Natabiria nata pesa zako. Amen. Sipokee nguvu ya kufanya mambo makubwa. Amen. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Pokea nguvu za kumiliki na kutawala. Amen. Nabiria jirani yako mwambie utamiliki na kutawala. Utamiliki na kutawala. Eh, utamiliki na kutawala. Utamiliki na kutawala. Tawala. Ninaona nyota yako ikingaa. Amen. Nyota yako ya utajiri inangaa. Yes. Sema fire. Moto. Nasimama kama nabii nikitangaza. Hallelujah. Kule wengine hawakufika katika familia yako. Wewe utafika. Amen. Mama wengine hawakujenga manyumba. Wewe utakuwa wa kwanza kujenga manyumba. Amen. Mama wengine hawakuendesha magari. Wewe utakuwa wa kwanza kuendesha magari. Amen. Wengine hawakusafiri kwenda ngambo. Wewe utaenda ngambo. Amen. Wengine hawakukuwa mabilionea. Wewe utakuwa bilionea wa kwanza. Amen. Mama wengine hawakusoma mpaka degree, mpaka masters na PhD. Wewe utakuwa wa kwanza. Amen. neema. Yes. Ya kufunja historia ya familia yako. Hallelujah. Kule hawakufika utafika. Yes. Kule hawakuenda utaenda. Yes. Ninatangaza juu yako. Yes. Enenda ukafanikiwe. Yes. Enenda ukafanikiwe. Nikiwe. Yes. Enenda ukafanikiwe. Yes. Ninatabiri na kutangaza. Yes. Nikiwa nimesimama kwenye madhabahu ya mlima wa moto. Amen. Chini ya mafuta ya askofu wa Katare. Yes. Utainuka. Yes. Wewe ndio milioneya anayefuata. Hallelujah. Nabiria watu watatu waambie, mimi ndio milioneya ninayefuata. I am the next millionaire. Mimi ndio milioneya anayefuata. I am the next millionaire. Mimi ndio milioneya anayefuata. I am the next millionaire. Mimi ndio milioneya anayefuata. Utafanikiwa. You will excel. Utakuwa bora. You will make it. Utafanikiwa. Free all the poverty. Kila madhabahu ya maskini. I command it catch fire. Ninatangaza ipate moto. Catch fire. Ipate moto. Catch fire. Ipate moto. Unapoteza anwani ya umasikini. You know when you look at Matthew 17:27. Unapoangalia Mathayo 17 mstari wa 27. Money was comfortably taking rest in the mouth of the fish. Fedha ilikuwa imepumzika kwa raha zote katika tumbo la samaki. Until Jesus gave Peter the mandate. Mpaka Yesu alipompa agizo Petro. To go and collect money from the mouth of the fish. Aende akachukue samaki kwenye kinywa, akachukue fedha kwenye kinywa. Matayo 17:27. I hear the Lord say. Namsikia Bwana akisema. If a fish could carry money. Kama samaki aliweza kubeba hela. Your account will carry money. Na wewe account yako itabeba hela. Your businesses will carry money. Biashara zako zitabeba hela. Your bank accounts will carry money. Account yako ya benki itabeba hela. Will carry money. Your handbags will carry money. Begi lako na mkononi itabeba hela. Poke ya mtaji usiokata kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Na tabiri ya mtaji wako wendele kuangezeka na kuangezeka. Amen. Na diufike mamilioni katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Na zikompawa fedha zako. Yes. Shall 
baka dosa Hallelujah. Baka Hallelujah. Salamu ya jirani yako mwambie mimi ndio milionea anayefuata. Mimi ndio milionea anayefuata. In the next 15 minutes. Hey. Katika dakika 15 zinazofuata. To you seven to tell you seven biblical reasons. Nataka nitumie hizo dakika kukuambia sababu saba za kibiblia. Why you need to refuse to be poor? Kwa nini unahitaji kukataa kuwa maskini? Salamia jirani yako mwambie nakataa kuwa maskini. Nakataa kuwa maskini. Nakataa kuwa maskini. Nakataa kuwa maskini. And tonight in Shilo I see you walking out of poverty. Na usiku wa leo Shilo na kuona ukitoka katika umasikini. That financial struggle is over. Yale ya kungangana kifedha ya meusha pita. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Now watch this now. Sasa angalia hili sasa. We are going to just read one at a time as I give you this reason so that you have an understanding as we pray. Nataka ni kupe hizi sababu ili uweze kuwa na uwelewa tunapoomba. Read for us Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 4. Mithali sura kuminatisa mstari wa nne. Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 4. Utajiri huongeza rafiki wengi. Aha, utajiri huongeza marafiki wengi. Bali masikini hutengwa na rafiki yake. Bali masikini hutengwa na rafiki zake. Number one. Sababu ya kwanza. A poor man is deserted by his friends. Masikini ukimbia, ukimbiwa na marafiki zake. Salamu ya jirani yako muambia. Masikini ukimbiwa na marafiki zake. Masikini ukimbiwa na marafiki zake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the word. Hilo ni neno la Mungu. The Bible says wealth brings many friends. Biblia inasema utajiri huleta marafiki wengi. But a poor man's friend desert him. Lakini masikini hukimbiwa na marafiki zake. Without money. Bila hela. Your relationships will suffer. Mahusiano yako yatateseka. Why? Kwa nini? Because nobody wants to be a friend to somebody that is a liability. Hakuna mtu anayetaka kuwa rafiki kwa mtu ambaye Hana chochote cha kumongezea. Ama mtu ambaye ni mzigo. Ambaye ni mzigo. You don't want to be friends with somebody that is a liability. Utaki kuwa rafiki wa mtu ambaye ni mzigo. Biblia nasema katika mithali kuminatisa msadi wa saba. That all the brothers of a poor man hate him. Kwa mba ndugu zake zote wa masikini humchukia. It is sad to be hated by your own relatives. Inasikitisha kuchukiwa na ndugu zako kabisa. When you are poor they will not even involve you in family meetings. Kama we ni masikini hawata kuhusisha hata katika mikutano ya kifamilia. They never ask for your opinion in any matter. Hawata uliza ushauri wako kwa jambo lolote. They believe you have nothing to offer. Wanaamini wewe huna lolote la kuchangia. You know when you are poor, family members know you as a borrower. Kwa hiyo kwe ukiwa maskini, watu wa familia wanakujua wewe ni mkopaji tu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's look at the last one. Tuangalia ya muisho. The third reason why you need to refuse to be poor. Sababu ya tatu ya kukataa kuwa maskini. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Mubiri sura ya atisa. Verse 14 to 16. Mstari wa kuminane hadi ule. I refuse to be poor. Nakataa kuwa maskini. Sema nakataa kuwa maskini nakataa kuwa maskini aha ecclesiastes chapter 9 muhubiri sura ya 9 verse 14 to verse 16 mstari wa 14 hadi ule wa 16 neno la Mungu linasema palikuwa na mji mdogo na watu wa ndani yake walikuwa wachache akaja mfalme mkuu juu yake akauhusuru akajenga ngome kubwa ili kupiga basi kulionekana humo mtu maskini mwenye hekima Alikuwa ni mtu maskini mwenye hekima endelea. Nae kwa hekima yake haka uokoa mji ule. Kwa hekima yake haka uokoa mji ule endelea. Lakini hata hivyo. Lakini hata hivyo. Hapa kuwa na mtu yoyote alie mkumbuka yule mtu maskini. Hakuna mtu yoyote alie mkumbuka yule maskini. Number three. A poor man's wisdom is despised. Jambo la tatu. Hekima ya mtu maskini. Are you listening to me? Je, muna nisikiliza? Even when you are wise and poor, your wisdom will be despised. Hata kama wewe unaekima ya kutosha, ukiwa maskini, ekima yako itadharauliwa. If you are skilled and poor, still your wisdom will be despised. Hata kama unaujuzi, pamoja na ujuzi wako, kama we ni maskini, utadharauliwa. You will be used and your voice will not be heard. Utatumi watu, 
lakini hutasikika mahali popote. And it's unfortunate that the world has so many poor wise people. Na nidhasikitisha kwamba dunia ina watu wengi maskini ambao wana hekima nzuri. But we need to break the spirit of poverty. Lakini tunahitaji kuivunja hii roho ya umaskini. Because the voice of the poor is ignored. Kwa sababu sauti ya maskini inadharauliwa. A poor man is always suspected. Mtu maskini kila wakati wanamtilia shaka. And his motives are always doubted. Hata nia yake wakati mwingine inatiliwa shaka. I will tell you this. Nitakwambia hili. People don't regard wisdom. Watu hawaheshimu hekima. People don't regard knowledge that is not supported by money. Watu hawaheshimu ufahamu ulionao kama uhauna hela. Are you listening to me? Unanisikiliza? So that is number three. a poor man's wisdom is despised. Kwa hiyo hiyo ni jambo la tatu. Hekima ya maskini inadharauliwa. This one write it down as I pray number four. Hii iandike wakati tunaingia kwenye maombi Mtu maskini hawezi kuacha urithi kwa watoto wake Proverbs 13:22 A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children Mithali 13 mstari wa 20 inasema mtu mwema huacha urithi kwa watoto wake na wajukuu wake When you are poor you have nothing to live for your children Kama wewe ni maskini huna cha kuachia watoto wako And our world should not end with us Na utajiri wetu hautakii uishie kwetu tu Let your children be glad you fathered them or you mothered them Watoto wako wafurahi kwamba wewe ulikuwa baba yao ulikuwa mama yao Let your children celebrate because of what you left them Wajukuu wakusherekee kwa kila ulichokiacha kwa ajili yao You leave assets Unaacha unaacha rasili mali unaacha akiba ya pesa unaacha majengo Hallelujah Hallelujah And number five, just write it down a poor man Andika la tano mtu maskini mtu maskini is ruled by the rich Utawaliwa na walio walio na fedha Hiyo ni mithali 22 mstari wa 7 The rich rules over the poor Matajiri hutawala masikini And the borrower is a servant to the lender Na mkopaji na ni mtumwa wa aliyemkopesha Hallelujah Hallelujah Everybody stand up on your feet in the name of Jesus Wote tusimame kwa miguu yetu katika jina la Yesu We are canceling the spirit of poverty Tunalifuta eh, roho ya maskini Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you prosper. Na kuona unafanikiwa. I see you making it. Na kuona ukipiga hatua. I see you excelling. Ninaona ukiwa bora. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Lift your hands above your head. Inua mikono yako juu kuliko kichwa chako. I want to pray for you. Nataka nikuombee. That every bondage of yoke and poverty. Kwamba kila kifungo cha nira na umashikini. There are two prayers I'm going to pray. Kuna aina mbili za maombi nitaomba. The first prayer is to break the bondage of poverty. Ombi la kwanza ni kuvunja kifungo cha umasikini. The second prayer Ombi la pili is to pray against debt as I pray concerning all the debts that you have carried. Nitaomba kinyume cha madeni nikiombea madeni yote ambayo umebeba. So just get ready in Jesus name. Kwa hiyo kaa tayari katika jina la Yesu. Lift your hands above your head. Inua mikono yako juu ya kichwa chako. Father in the name of Jesus. Baba katika jina la Yesu. I thank you for every man and woman in Shilo. Na kushukuru kwa ajili ya kila mwanaume na mwanamke katika Shilo. And those that are listening to us through Praise Power Radio. Na wale wanao tusikia kupitia press power radio and those that are watching this broadcast na wale wanaoangalia matangazo haya every altar of poverty kila madhabahu ya umaskini in our lives and in our families katika maisha yetu na katika familia zetu that is working against our prosperity inayofanya kinyume na mafanikio yetu i uproot it in the name of jesus na naingoa katika jina la yesu i command the spirit of poverty to let you go na amuru roho ya umaskini ikuachie every chain of poverty kila mnyororo wa umasikini I break it in the name of Jesus Na uvunja katika jina la Yesu I declare over your life Natangaza juu ya maisha yako Over your destiny Juu ya hatima yako Over your family Juu ya familia yako You are free from poverty Wewe uko huru na umasikini Every curse of poverty in your bloodline Kila lana ya umasikini kwenye uko wako I command it catch fire Natangaza ipate moto Every conspiracy against your breakthrough Kila mpango ulio kinyume na mpenye wako every conspiracy against your business kila mpango wa hira kinyume na biashara yako every conspiracy against your assignment kila mpango ulio kinyume na majukumu yako i destroy it in the name of jesus na uharibu katika jina la yesu from shilo and from the altar of mountain of fire kutoka kongamano la shilo na katika madhabahu ya mlima wa moto i declare wealth 
is your portion. Natangaza utajiri ni fungu lako. Favor is yours. Kibali ni chako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Father, this is the hour, this is the time. Baba, hii ndio saa na huu ndio wakati. I prophesy wealth will pursue you. Natangaza utajiri ukukimbilie. Prosperity will pursue you. Mafanikio ya kukimbilie. You will own your own business. Utamiliki biashara yako mwenyewe. You will own your own companies. Utamiliki kampuni yako mwenyewe. Where others say no. Wakati wengine wanaposema hapana. You others will say yes to you. Watu wengine watasema ndiyo kwako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. So, in this altar katika madhabahu hii i release new businesses naachilia biashara mpya i release new offices naachilia ofisi mpya i release new cars that naachilia magari mapya ambayo yamelipiwa naachilia majumba mapya anyone that is holding your blessing yoyote anayeshikilia baraka yako when you leave this service ukiondoka katika ibada hii i prophesy natabiri you will receive a call of good news utapokea msimu ya habari njema God is releasing your destiny helpers Mungu anaachilia wasaidizi wako wa hatima yako Kila ngome ya umashikini I command it catch fire Natangaza ipate moto Catch fire Ipate moto Catch fire Ipate moto I open your financial doors Nafungua milango yako ya fedha Let money come into your hands Fedha zije mikononi mwako Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Everyone that is believing God for capital to start a business. Yoyota naye muamini Mungu kwa ajili ya mtaji ili aanze biashara. I open that door in the name of Jesus. Nafungua mlango huo katika jina la Yesu. You shall receive financial miracles. Utapokea muujiza wa kifedha. As you are stretching your hands. Unaponyosha mikono yako. There are people here that have been dreaming dreams of poverty. Kuna watu hapa wamekuwa kiota ndoto za kimasikini. The Lord is setting you free tonight. Bwana anakuweka huru jioni ya leo. When you dream, unapota ndoto. And you see yourself. Na unajiona mwenyewe. Falling from the mountain top. Unaanguka kutoka kilele cha mlima. That is a dream of poverty. Hiyo ni ndoto ya umasikini. When you see yourself climbing a mountain in the dream. Unapona unaota ndoto ya kupanda mlima. But you are not able to get to the top. Lakini hauwezi kufika kileleni. That is a dream of poverty. Hii ni ndoto ya umasikini. When you dream Unapota ndoto and you see yourself unajiona mwenyewe wearing filthy clothes umevaa mavazi machafu it is a dream of poverty hiyo ni ndoto ya umasikini when you dream unapota ndoto and you see yourself na unajiona mwenyewe wearing tattered drugs una uta umevaa nguo zilizochanika chanika it is a dream of poverty hiyo ni ndoto ya umasikini when you dream unapota ndoto and you see someone coming to question you kunaona mtu anakuja kukuuliza why are you prospering kwa nini unafanikiwa why are you advancing kwa nini unapiga hatua that is a dream of poverty hiyo ni ndoto ya umasikini when you dream unapota ndoto and you see your hands handicapped Unaona mikono yako imefungwa. That is a dream of poverty. Hiyo ni ndoto ya umaskini. I prophesy. Na tabiri. As you are stretching your hands. Unapoinua mikono yako juu. Any kind of dream of poverty. Kila aina ndoto ya umaskini. That has been consistent in your life. Ambayo imekuwa ikijirudia kwenye maisha yako. I find it in the name of Jesus. Na ifunga katika jina la Yesu. When you dream and you see yourself borrowing. Unapoota unajiona unakopa. When you dream and you see yourself begging. Unapoota naona mwenyewe ni omba omba that is a dream of poverty hiyo ni ndoto ya umaskini i declare over your life you will never beg in the name of jesus natangaza juu ya maisha yako hautaomba katika jina la yesu every spirit of poverty kila roho ya umaskini that is pursuing you inayokufukuzia wewe that is coming after your destiny inayokuja kwenye hatima yako i crush it by fire na iteketeza kwa moto i declare these dreams must end natangaza ndoto hizi ni mwisho wako If you have been dreaming kama umekoa kiota ndoto you have seen yourself caged na umejiona mwenyewe umefungwa it is a dream of poverty ni ndoto ya kimasikini if you dream kama ukiota ndoto and you see yourself chained unaona umefungwa minyororo i command that dream catch fire natangaza ndoto hiyo ipate moto stretch your hands inua mikono yako juu father i cancel the dreams of poverty baba nafuta ndoto za umasikini There are 20 people 
right now. Kuna watu 20 sasa. They are being delivered from all their demonic chains and oppression. Wanafunguliwa katika minyororo yote ya kipepo ya umasikini. Angels of God wherever they are. Malaika wa Bwana popote walipo. Search them and touch them now. Watafuteni na kuwagusa sasa. Fire! Moto! Fire! Moto! Fire! Moto! Right now the power of God is visiting you. Ta sasa hivi nguvu za Mungu zinakutembelea. The power of God is visiting you wherever you are. Nguvu za Mungu zinakutembelea popote ulipo. Everyone that has been having a dream of poverty. Yoyote ambaye amekuwa na ndoto ya umasikini. I set you free in the name of Jesus. Na kuweka huru katika jina la Yesu. Ninaona ukifunguliwa sasa hivi ni wewe Hallelujah. Na hesabu moja mpaka tatu malaika wa Bwana watafuta waguze popote walipo. Yes. Fire! Yes. Fire! Yes. Dio hizo nguvu za Bwana zinatembea. Yes. Dio hizo nguvu za Bwana zinatembea. My Hallelujah. God. Wherever they are fire. Hallelujah. Fire! Yes. Oh. Fire! Moto! Fire! Moto! Fire! Moto! Dio hizo nguvu ya Bwana. Hiyo ndio nguvu ya Bwana. Moto! Fire! Moto! Fire! Moto! Everybody lift up your hands. Wote inua mikono juu. Shalabaka doska mikono kwa madhabahu. Kuna watu wanaolipwa mishahara mikubwa. Lakini utashangaa maisha wanayoishi ni maisha ambayo ina uhitaji mkubwa sana. Leo hii Mungu anawakomboa. Unavyonyesha una, unavyonyosha mikono kwenye madhabahu. Hallelujah. Naziamuru pesa zako zije kutoka pande zote kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Natangaza milango ya pesa ifunguke kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Ninakata mawasiliano yote. Yes. Ya kichawi inayosababisha yes. mtaji wako usiongezeke. Hallelujah. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Natabiria mtaji wako wa biashara. Yes. Utazidi kuongezeka kila siku kwa siku Hallelujah. na kuwa mamilioni kwa jina la Yesu Amen. Nazikompoa pesa zako kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Nazikompoa pesa zako. Hallelujah. Natangaza kuanzia leo. Yes. Kutoka kwenye madhabahu ya mlima wa moto. Dio. Pesa zako zipokee nguvu ya kufanya mambo makubwa. Amen. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Pigia Yesu makofi shangwe na vigelegele. Hallelujah.